They run. It's Foster. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And it's caught. Touchdown. Russell Wilson on target to DK Metcalf. And his guys are going to retake the lead. And with the rules as touchy as they can be, it's so hard to complete a diving catch in the end zone. But he just did it pretty well. How about him getting his body, his hands, everything underneath and around the football without it hitting the ground and causing some doubt in the minds of the people who have to look at this and possibly review it. What a tremendous effort and a great catch. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. First and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Jamal Adams coming up from his safety spot to make the play. Brings up second and seven. To throw on second down, Steve McNair. The completion good. This is Eric Ebron. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now Bell. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Now McNair off the play fake. They'll roll him out right. This will be caught inside the 10. They'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll run it with Bell. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. No gain on the play. Leads to second and goal at the nine-yard line. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. They'll try again with Bell. And he'll wind up getting about six out of that as that's going to lead us to the two-minute warning. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Only a yard there, so it brings up fourth and goal. Well, there was a trust factor in that call, turning and handing it to the big man in the backfield, trying to pick up the first down. But how about the defense? They were ready for him, and they were able to stop him. They go for it on fourth and goal, but that winds up incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the ball will go over on the goal line stand. 
The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. Now Wilson back into his end zone. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. To throw from his end zone, Wilson. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Steeler legend Troy Palomalu with a pick. You got the slim lead late in the football, so why are you throwing it there? Remember during the year when we asked one of the head coaches, you know, if you're in this spot, why would you throw the ball? And he talked about trust in his quarterback and trust in his offense. But still. And then in the end, he kind of went, yeah, not really a good reason. <laughs> Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. One yard game brings up second and nine at the 12 yard line. He'll look to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the Time final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow, wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish him out. The score that puts him in front here late, but not, you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get over-eager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they practice this all the time. They practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. They'll look to throw. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Darren Waller, the intended receiver, and it's second down. Now Wilson. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Rod Woodson with a pick. And the return goes up to his own 17-yard line. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill, trying to get your guys down the field. And it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did. But they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really